We travel to a multi-dimensional vending machine so you don't have to. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. We prefer to venture into new territory whenever we travel to parallel universes on the hunt for new and exciting snacks, but, and I do mean but, B-U-T-T. -T. Ah? For one of today's interdimensional snacks, we've taken a third trip to the anus-obsessed universe known as Ploptopolis. Uh-huh. And listen, we only keep going back because Stevie loves it so much, she won't stop asking about it. Right, Stevie? Yeah, thank you, guys. Thank you so much for going back to Ploptopolis. Oh, man, we got a treat for you today. My hair still stinks. <laughs> and I have showered so hard yeah, I was upon my return, but I think you're gonna be satisfied with our <laughs> Ploptopolis treat. Hey, listen. <laughs> That is only one of the snacks. We yeah. got plenty more tasty morsels from other universes unknown too. So strap in, because it's time for Multiverse Munchies. If this is your first time watching GMM, where you been? And also, welcome. Long story short, I'm Link, this is Rhett. Oh, and we open portals to other dimensions and travel through them, bringing yes. back new snacks. And I also once threw a dart right into the middle of Brunei. Oh, it's very impressive. We're gonna try each snack and use our own dimensions flavor palette to decide if that snack came from a delicious dimension or if it's a snack of finchin. All right, let's blast off into flavor. Okay. Uh, with our first parallel universe. Snack. In our universe, we've got Rice Krispie treats. Uh, mm -hmm. The only acceptable way to eat Rice Krispies for me personally. Yeah. But we visited a universe where they had decided to meatify. That is sort of make into meat or put meat into every single culinary thing under the sun. So they don't have Rice Krispie treats, they have Rice Krispie meats. 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 Same packaging. You might wanna keep the Rice Krispie treat close by. As a, like a chaser? Yeah, let's go all the way. We've got the... Now Nicole, I, I, I just wanna packaging. let you know that I, I've got this big cleaver and I hope to impress you to the point where you might say, wow. Let's see. <laughs> now, I can see on the packaging, it says that it contains bacon bits. This is so juicy. Maybe. Like, greasy? Let me get this thing out. Set it up there on your friends. Ah, uh, it's moist. And, oh, 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 don't do that. I want, I want like a, a meat slice. Well, I'm gonna give you a cross section, then I'll give you a slice from that cross section. Back away. Woo! Now right. there's, let's, let's smell wow. that. Hey, hey, hey. That's the only reason I did it with such gusto, Nicole. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, you had, you had to look over at her and basically yeah. beg with your it eyes. It wasn't the same. That was like when Jeb Bush said, please clap. I can, <laughs> I can still smell uh, marshmallows, which I think is holding this together, but this there's is bacon bits. Have you studied this, Nicole? There's uh, bacon bits in here? Yes, very closely. It's pure, unadulterated bacon bit. I mean, it's still, oh, it's no. very, it's got that sweet bacon bit. Syrupy. And that, that marshmallowiness. Oh. Salty, sweet. When it drops out of that vending machine. It drops hard. This is what I envisioned well, salt, salt, very salty. Yeah. It's not as crunchy as, like when you eat those really fake-o bacon bits, bacon bits. The ones that you had at my house. The ones that I, the only reason I came to your house. Right. That's missing from this, and um, I think that would help. It gets so. I'm trying to do less meat. Moist. It's, a, it's another dimension. Yeah, but we have to decide if we want it in our dimension. They don't have the problems that we have. But you we know? do have the problems. The more cows that fart over there in their dimension, but if we the get more hooked it, on it this, cools their galaxy. If we get kids hooked on this, think about what kind of chaos that we're going to unleash in our own dimension. I think we gotta think about what the responsible thing to do here is. We could think about that, or we could just think about, hey, this is like bacon with some marshmallow. It's, it, but it, taste it, that. It, and, and tell me that you don't, you're not happy you're in this, in this universe. I think main meal dessert, I like this. I don't. So we're on, e we're on the other side, but you're not even talking about taste, you're talking about the environment. No, I'm also talking about taste, and I don't like the way it tastes. I don't, I, well, I'm gonna give it to you because I don't, I don't experience any crunch. No crunch, Okay. not gonna work for me. So Rice Krispie Meats is a snack, snack offensive. Mm -hmm. 
Until recently, we never questioned why they call it top ramen in our universe. Yeah, we just thought it was like saying that this is the best ramen, right? Yeah, top ramen. The top, top, top. But we were blindsided by the truth when we went back to the universe consumed by all things anuses and poop named yeah. Yes, Davey, because they have bottom ramen. Right, it turns out that we have top ramen because all of the animal products we use to make it come from the tops of animals and because we consume it through the tops of our bodies, but oh no, not in Ploptopolis. Mm-hmm, um, they, <laughs> they, they, they do things down under. It's kinda yeah, yeah. like, uh, it's just like Australia. Uh, this bottom ramen, uh-huh. it, it's chicken butt flavored. Yeah, and it's got actual chicken butts, actual chicken anuses I'm in a, it. I'm a bit afraid to open. But well, and look at the bottom. Look at the bottom. Oh yes, yeah. there's a there's some butt cheeks. It's a booty, right down there. Okay. Now that is that is not unsettling in the least bit. It's very dark. Chicken <laughs> anus pieces. Quite a broth, <laughs> man. It's. Re- it's really strong. It's strong. <laughs> you didn't have to do that. I'm over here about to gag. You know, let me get a, <laughs> let me get a whiff of that. It must have gone over there to you uh, because. Now hold on now. Don't take a fork to that thing. Don't, don't you remember how you actually consume this? Oh yes. Oh, you consume bottom ramen through the south mouth. Oh right. And you, and you said you were going to do it. You were excited about this. I didn't know exactly what I was signing up for when I said that I was going to drink this with my butt. Okay. okay. So. Uh, Go do I, your thing. I, I'm you, gonna can't go. really, you can't do this on camera. I'm gonna go off, I mean, this is a, off camera. This is a family show. Uh, but we still have my mic on. Uh, yeah, of course, of course. Okay, you're so, well mic'd. Okay. All right, well, first I need to unzip. I, wow. You hear that? Yeah, I you did. I heard it. Right. And now. <laughs> yeah. Again, now you're saying. Th- this part. This side in goes in the. No, this part. Kind of, you this. You're gonna pour the t- ramen down that, and this goes in the. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, in yeah. the south mouth. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to put this in the south mouth. I'm I'm not I'm not going to look at it directly. Oh, we didn't have a You couldn't hear that. Let me yeah. try it again. <laughs> we'll put it in the south mouth. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, that was that that was me pouring. That's a little early. <laughs> I got okay. Now I'm now I'm getting ready. Oh, Are you it. complaining about the fact that your insertion did not make a noise? Yeah. Like, it feels like that's what you're taking issue with. Now I'm going to pour. Now it's fully inserted. I trust I'm me. I'm going to pour the bottom ramen into, into the, the funnel. Yeah. And then it's going to make its way. Yeah, you, yeah we know what's going to happen. Okay, here I go. I'm pouring the bottom ramen. Yeah. It's, not a, it's not a steady stream. Okay. Wow, your your all right. Your south mouth sounds a lot like your north mouth. So I've 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 made some progress. It it almost sounds like someone just slurping. It, Are you sure you're doing it right? Oh yeah. <laughs> I can't really see. I'm feeling very full, but oh, there's some more. Let me let me uh, give it another. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Topping off the tank, yeah, so yeah. to speak. And now and now you should probably zip back up. Yeah, I should. Yeah, and I that did. Sounded, it sounded a lot like. <laughs> It sort of sounded a lot like when it went down. Okay. How are you feeling? Uh, I didn't taste any. <laughs> yeah, well, really? Yeah. Yeah, do you feel like you're gonna be okay sitting here? Uh, not yeah. for long. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I listen, you're the judge of this one. I, I feel like, uh, I, f- I definitely feel full. Yeah, right. Satisfied. Instantly, right, yeah. Yeah, it's, and um, yeah. I think I'm getting some nutrients from this. Yeah. I think this is, I think this is great. Okay. Gotta go. Well, it sounded like he was gonna say, bottom ramen, delicious dimension. (coughs) Oh, oh. Oh, it looks like my bottom ramen has started to complete its journey. Oh, one noodle at a time. Uh, Now, you still feel good about it? And it still tastes good? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, it tastes good for the first time. <laughs> yeah, yeah <it> tastes <laughs> because great. you just tasted it. <laughs> yeah, speaking of taste things, we want you to taste the Mythical Kitchen Channel. Oh. They got lots of good stuff that they're cooking up. You can sample it. You can see if you like it. I bet you will. Whether you are whiz in the kitchen or you stick with sous chef Mike, that's what Josh calls the microwave. Oh yeah, I know. About uh, that. You will like the Mythical Kitchen Channel. It's a whole other channel, right, Nicole? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Just, yeah. Wow. wow. It's, that's what I say. Mythical when I go Kitchen. Over there. Check it out. All right, as we recently established in our Everything Bagel Seasoning Taste Test, everyone in our universe is going wild with putting this 
everything but the bagel sesame seasoning blend with sea salt, garlic, and onion, everything seasoning on literally everything. But I'm a believer. We just so happen to find a dimension where the difference between edible and inedible does not exist. Mm -hmm. That's why they have Scavenger Joe's Anything on the Bagel seasoning. Now, this container, as you can, it's, it's, you never know what you're gonna get. In All one any, of a kind. Any one, so I see there's a watch in there, there's some baby shoes. Read the, uh, yeah, this one read is, the label. With marbles, old shoes, cassette tapes, a gold watch, cinnamon, salt, Swiss mist powder, chili powder, capers, and sunflower seeds. Well, that sounds like quite a, oh, there's a gold watch right there. And then mine has bacon bits, oh, okay, I could use more of those, sesame seeds, loose change, chocolate chips, powdered Parmesan cheese, toothbrushes, and old baseballs. Old oh, baseballs. I mean, and then, so what you, it come, the, I mean, most of what comes out is the seasoning the for me. The toothbrush and the baseballs don't come out. I was really hoping we the can gold, see if the taste transfers. I was really hoping the gold watch would make it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the gold watch is not coming through. You, you've you've dusted oh, you've dusted everything. <laughs> All righty. That's gonna be that's gonna be tough to taste. Now let's dink it. You gotta commit to whatever you. You got to yeah, commit you got, to whatever. Yeah, hey man, I just butt you, chug. You, you can do this. Yeah, yeah, I can. I, I can put this in my north mouth <laughs> and sink it. We got two totally different experiences. Yeah, um, that's what I love about it. This is this is. Uh, it's actually not bad at all. This is really bad. You want to just don't breathe in when you bite this, but just get a, get a get a nice healthy bite. It'll it'll chase down whatever you don't breathe in. Ever again. <laughs> hmm. Is that bad? Huh? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a crapshoot. You never know. Well, I don't, sorry, CB. I didn't want you to think this is Ploptopolis. Ploptopolis! No. I think there's fun in this. I love everything You're about You're cleaning this. up the, the sounds and the oceans, uh, but it's really hit or miss. So, Scavenger Joe's, anything on the bagel seasoning? Delicious dimension! One of the most underrated movie theater snacks in our universe has to be snow caps. They're so underrated, I've never even tried them, so I should have one right now. I oh, know. I know what these things are. It's, it's, um, what does it say on the front? Cho chocolate? Semi-sweet chocolate non-parels? So it's, a, it's. A, I've only had parels, but I've never had non-parels. That's the, that's the white stuff. I mean, it's basically like a, a chocolate drop or kiss with like some sort of like, White heads all over it. That's nice. Oh yeah. Meet these while watching the movie. But we found a universe that has a whole other idea of what makes something refreshing. Uh, to them, it's all about the spicy heat. That's what the people love, and that's why they love lava caps. No. Volcanoes no. filled with Carolina Reaper goo. All right. So let's open these. Is it hot? Is it real hot? Is it gonna be hot? Is it hot? Oh, okay. So my they, goodness, these got are goo in them. These are bigger. It's also the box is recyclable. It says paper box right there. Oh goodness, you're going for it. I'm a little afraid of the heat, so it, open that up and so let's see if there's a. Oh, there's the gush. There's a goo. That's gonna be the problem. I'm just gonna <clears> go for the whole thing. It's not that bad. <laughs> it's not that bad at all. You don't mean hot stuff. <laughs> I mean, it'll take a second to kick in. What? But if, but if it'll, in just a second though, in just a second you'll, you'll know that, you'll know it's hot. It's, it's hot. Here, you want another one? We gotta keep eating them because we're watching the movie. Okay. Well, that's what, what you, that's what they do. Well, you take another one. <clears throat> you take another one. Put it in there. <laughs> You can't do that. Now you gotta eat two. It's not a game. Ooh, it is hot though. <laughs> Woo! I like this particular universe. They got a different attitude towards hot stuff. I noticed as we walked past that little school and they were training the kids. We always walk past little schools and watch children <laughs> and in other dimensions. <laughs> we didn't stop. We were to walk and we just heard them. We put up. We put our faces right up to the no, window. No, we didn't do that. We just listened. <laughs> That's it. See what the children do in this dimension. And they said. They were teaching kids about fire, and they said, and, and usually you would hear stop, drop, and roll. But they were saying stop, drop, and hang out for a little bit. Because, because they yay, don't mind. The fire. Hot's good. Uh, 
I might have to do the butt flush again. Oh, oh you know what's going to happen? You got noodles that are traveling stuff. from your anus. Yes. Through uh, your system, and now you've got hot, hot stuff coming. And this is what's happening inside your is, body right it's now. It's burning right in the middle. It's, it's not treating me nice. I'm kind of into these. Uh, I like the texture, uh, but you're the one that's got something happening in your tummy, so I'm going to leave I could go to without you. snow caps, honestly. So I definitely could go without lava caps. But I don't know. They could have the corner on the market, and I think people will be into it. So I'm going to say, let's do it. All right, lava caps. Delicious, Delicious dimension. dimension. <laughs> ah, hi. <gasps> Still getting worse. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. I'm Rhett. And I'm Link. And I'm Simply Simmer. We're on the Sims 4 version of Good Mythical Morning, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Was that us actually speaking? That was us. I saw myself, too. Yeah, I saw myself. Yeah. Click the top link to watch us choose the hottest man in the Star Wars universe in Good Mythical Morning. Okay, and to find out where the wheel of mythicality is going to land. Ketchup is a smoothie. Yeah, I put ice in my cereal, so what? That makes no sense. A hot dog is a sandwich. A hot dog is a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> what?